Joining me is Saskia, creator of the blog The Pro Fashional. Thank you for coming into the studio today. Yeah, thanks for having me, Gemma. So let's start with what your blog is all about. So basically, it's just fashion, travel, and photography. So they're your main focuses. Now, you did mention, though, in terms of the fashion, it's things that you've bought that are really special to you. That, that could be a lot of things. So what do you do to decide what makes the cut? So basically, I try to combine like key pieces that everyone has in their wardrobe and then find some, some other special items. For example, like some local designers and some pieces that no one has ever tried on. So I really want to do maybe yeah, if you want to call it like a brave style, so something more unique that you don't find all over Instagram already or just in the stores. Oh, that is exciting. So you're quite adventurous and yeah. take a gamble sometimes with what you choose to, mm -hmm. to yeah, post exactly. about. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And do you do you run this by anyone beforehand and say, hey, mom, is this totally wacky or do you think I should try my luck? Um, sometimes I just go ahead, but sometimes if I think it's too crazy, I really ask someone, like mostly my girlfriends, who say like, oh, you know, I don't know if this goes together. But sometimes I still go ahead because in my opinion, it looks really cool. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it does. I mean, you wouldn't have people following you if they just thought, oh gosh, did she, did the mirror break? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, who, who are your inspirations then? Um, I, I really love Victoria Beckham. Like since, I don't know, since I can think she's my my all-time idol. But also I love to check with other bloggers. Uh, for example, Rocky Barnes, she's yeah. amazing. She's like a little bit the modern Pocahontas and like her, her style is just amazing. So I keep they, coming back to her. <laughs> they are two though very different styles. I mean, Victoria Beckham, she's mm -hmm. really simplistic yeah. in her approach to fashion. And then you've just described a modern day Pocahontas. <laughs> yeah. So you kind of fuse all those elements to make it your own. Yes, exactly. I try to combine a little bit of everything. Um, but on my blog, you'll hardly find anything that is too colorful. Like I'm more like a black and white person, maybe two, three colors at a time. And yeah, it's really important for me to keep it clean. I, you know what, that is something I need to adopt in my own wardrobe because I end up with so many pieces that yeah. I cannot link them together. I'm going to save your number for later. <laughs> yeah, I would love to. <laughs> so you are from Germany originally, Saskia. Yes. You moved to Dubai just two years ago. How has living here influenced your blog so far? Basically, this, this city, it gave me wings in terms of like doing my own thing or basically made me grow balls <laughs> to, oh, to I do like it. That. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, I was always kind of shy, but this city is so innovative and it's it's just amazing. So everyone does their own thing. There are so many new businesses and it's just such an inspiration. So I thought, okay, why should I not go out and do my own thing instead of just doing what everyone else does. No, I love it. So you're, yeah, you're saying this environment really nurtures yeah. you and other individuals who want to take a plunge, want to take a risk. And do you find that others in the community here locally in Dubai are quite supportive of budding influencers, mm -hmm. fashion, uh, stylists? They're, they're receptive to new people on the scene? Yeah, definitely. And I thought it would be maybe a little bit difficult for me because I'm not a local, not um, in the more Arabic style sector, to, so to say, but, um, but that might be your point of difference. Yeah, exactly. I think because it's different, uh, many people are following me, even from the UAE, and that's amazing. So I feel really accepted. And in terms of a loyal readership, followership, how do you maintain people, the traffic on your blog and even entice new followers to your blog? I always try to do something different, but also what's really important to me is engagement with the people. So for example, if someone comments on my Instagram, then um, I try to respond back as personal as I can. So not to just say, okay, thank you, but um, yeah, thanks, that's super kind of you. And I think it would look good on you as well, or I love your latest picture. Because usually um, I think that's all what uh, social media is about. You just go to other profiles, then check out what they are doing, get inspiration from there and it just builds up. You also though mentioned that you never advertise a product that you don't try yeah. or test yourself and you like to reveal scams. So is this, <laughs> <laughs> why is that Saskia? Has something happened to you and you thought, you know what, I want to share this with my followers. I don't want the same thing to happen to them. 
Yeah, actually, um, what is really famous right now on Instagram is these giveaways. And what I recently discovered, because they also approached me, like, I, I don't want to name anyone. But, uh, for example, as an influencer, you have to pay to participate in these giveaways. Then with 30 other people, you do a buy-in, for example, like $200, which is not cheap at all. Um, and then they will put you in this giveaway and say, follow all of these accounts. Oh, wow. But, um, so but, this is all behind the scenes. Exactly. But it's not beneficial because uh, your following should be authentic. And yeah, so I think people who are after free stuff are not really your target group if you want to sell something. So it's really dangerous as an influencer I, I agree but I love your honesty though that and you are actually exposing this yeah so I'm sure many people are grateful because otherwise we would all be blind to this yeah no I got really nice feedback I first I thought should I do it or should I not but people were actually super thankful and um, even came back to me commented or sent me a private message saying oh I, I also fell for this but um, it will never happen to me again that is good news. All right, we are going to be right back chatting with blogger Saskia. She is the author of The Professional, and here is her favorite track. It's Camel Fat and Elderbrook Cola. This is Dance FM. We are back with Saskia, creator of the blog, The Pro Fashional. Thank you again. So let's just continue where we left off. You started the blog in 2016, although yeah. you did just reveal to me this isn't your first blog. So what was the cause of this revamp? So basically, when I moved here to Dubai, I, I felt I have to start all over because it was more Munich-based before, because this is where I lived before. Um, and the style was completely different, a little bit more urban. And I think here I could be a little bit more creative and crazy when it comes to style. So I thought, why not do it a little bit more Dubai-based, more international, international. And um, yeah, that's why I started all over again. Very cool. Now, you also studied international marketing in yeah. the Netherlands. So has this helped to navigate the development and growth of the blog? I, to be honest, I think yes, because during these studies, you learn how to market products. And if you consider yourself as the product or the service with, as an influencer, which is basically what you're doing, um, I think it's really helpful. Also, we learned a lot of, about online marketing and how to use social media for brands. So I thought, if I think I am the brand, how can I ad take advantage of, of advantage of this for myself? Definitely. So it was very complimentary to now your obvious interest in blogging yeah. and uh, making your own profile online. Yeah, true. I was just a little bit late. I wish I would have started like five years ago. Oh, uh, you know what? <laughs> At least you're on the road now. Yeah. Better than someone sitting back thinking, thinking. You just action, right? Yeah, just that's get true. on it. Yeah. No more, no more <laughs> procrastinating. Now I have seen that you blog about fashion for a cause and mm -hmm. endorse brands that are community focused. Yeah. So you support um, a brand that supports refugee women in Jordan. Mm -hmm. What other brands like this interest you? Um, basically every brand that does it in a smaller, um, how do you say it? Like, um, not so big. For example, there's like this Alexander Wang um, promo going on right now, but this is like a little bit too big. So I'm not sure if the money will really go all to, to the people in need. So as long as it's really small and locally spread and they say, please spread the word for um, my personal baby, um, this is where, where I want to help. Independence. Yeah, exactly. That uh, yeah, a, a great initiative that is locally focused. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it's nice, and especially that you're using your platform to assist them and give them more coverage, more exposure. Mm -hmm. If I mean, yeah, good on you. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, uh, I love to do that. It's it's really nice. I'm always like all support the locals. <laughs> you also said though you love blogging because it means you're your own boss. Mm -hmm, yeah. How does that feel? Is it because you have a job on this side as well, mm -hmm. but this is kind of your creative outlet as well yep. as hey, I'm wearing I'm wearing the boss pants here. I make all the decisions. <laughs> <laughs> so what is it about being the boss you like and do you see that in your future? Actually, yeah, I would love to be my own boss entirely. Like to just get rid of the job on the side and just do, do blogging full time. Uh, it's just nice that you can do everything at your own pace. You can start the day whenever you like, <laughs> yes, <laughs> but also yes. end it whenever you like. <laughs> so if you sleep until 10 o'clock, it also happens that you still sit at late night 
uh, writing, editing pictures, doing research, what to do next, and yeah. Mind you, though, when when it is your own, you're also so emotionally invested. You probably would work ten times harder. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's true. Maybe you envision sleeping in. Actually, you'd be up at the crack of dawn <laughs> in bed by midnight. Yeah, <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. Now, this has got me really interested. So you had thought at one point you would move to France, <laughs> open a German bakery, yeah, called Ugly Cakes. Yes. <laughs> Let's start with the name. How did you come up with that? So basically, I love baking since I can think. I started like when I was 10, helping my grandma in the kitchen. And then I developed a love for baking cakes. But unfortunately, they turned out so ugly. <laughs> but because I had really good friends, they would still eat them and say, wow, this is delicious. You should still <laughs> open a business. <laughs> so you that's know- why I wanted to do it. But then I left it because I was like, ah, oh, if someone wants to... Um, if someone wants to buy some cakes, it should look nice, so it's oh, not for me. <laughs> I, I actually can relate. I wouldn't say my cooking looks the greatest, but yeah. it tastes okay. Yeah. And I think that's See? what matters. Yeah, that's what... <laughs> you know what? Exactly. No one would be complaining in the Dance uh, FM team if you were <laughs> going to bring in these ugly creations. I'm sure they're not ugly either. A little bit, but uh, at least they will taste good. <laughs> so I will bring a cake for you soon. <laughs> Thank you, Saskia. It has been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us in the studio. She is the creator of the blog, The Professional. You can check out our full interview of Beats and Bloggers on the website, dancefm.com. And if you want to get in touch now just to send a friendly hey, get in touch at 3553. This is The Chainsmokers with Dea. It's Don't Let Me Down.